Greetings and salutations, everyone. This is Star Princess HLC's Let's Play of Real Mist. I am... I don't think I'm Star Princess HLC. I mean, I mean I've had lunch, so did I turn into Star Princess HLC in the process of this? I got you. G good answer. <laughs> so let... Last time we, uh, sprinted through Channelwood Age, and we got... We got more pages for the red and blue books, but we really haven't gotten definitive information on either Cirrus or Agnar. Um, we rotated the tower to the last clue for the last age, um, which was at the rocket ship. So let's, let's take a look here. If, if I can navigate properly... Yeah, if you go up the Clearly I had too much to eat. 59 volts. 59 volts. Unfortunately, that's not the only thing you need to get to this age. And, um... Hmm. It's the first part of the puzzle. Where is the, uh... Where is the, uh, clues for mechanical channel wood and, um... Stone ship basically give you all you... Almost all you need to know. This one, there's a little something extra you need, and it's from one of the journals. Uh, are you all ready for my least favorite puzzle in the game? Woo! We, we could be here a while. Probably. Grab a beer if you drink. Okay, so we need to open library. So, so 59 volts, what does that make you think of? Back at you! Good answer. <laughs> but, uh, before we do that, we can show off the journal we need. So this is the journal for the Selenitic Age, which we saw earlier in the first mm -hmm. video. Um, it just... I'll give the lore dump when we actually get to the world, which again could take a while. But there's an odd thing in the back of this. There it is. There is a keyboard with certain notes highlighted. Hmm. This is what you need to get to the age. You you may think it looks harmless now, but just you wait. But yeah, I have this, uh... I do have this jotted down. So, 59 volts, what does that make... Was there anything on the island that involved voltage? Uh... Oh, right, there was something over this way, by the rocket ship. So, so the rocket ship is requiring power, and it doesn't have any. Because we tried to get in and it just yelled at us. Hmm. Actually, in early builds of the game, you could get in and it just wouldn't let you do anything once you were in there. Huh. So the place we're looking for... ...was that brick shed across from the log cabin. Ah. Oh, that's right. That had voltage thingamajiggers in it. This thingy. So we need 59 volts. No more, no less. Mm -hmm. And and as you recall, you press each of these buttons, yeah, and right. you get a different amount of volts. Yes. Do we want to demo what happens if we break it? Does it take a long time to fix? Not really. Okay, so we're at 50. And... Oh! Whoops. Okay, so turn off all of the switches. So we have caused a short circuit, but if we go back out of the shed... I just had to remember where these two things are. One of them is much harder to find than the other. Um... 
what we want to do is basically follow the power lines. You see that tower there, that the uh, brick tower to the right. Oh, this thingy. Yep. And there's like a ladder going up it. So... Somewhere. Hmm. Oh, there it there is. There it is. And this was the one that was harder to find when I was a kid. The one that's in the woods. So let's flip that switch. Get back up there, me. Put hand directly on the lever. Oh, okay. Okay, that's one of them. Go down. Whee! And if you go towards the rocket ship, there is another one of these towers. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I see you. Right there. Yep. Oops, Daisy. And there is a resounding thud. Okay. So basically, we have flipped the circuit breakers. Okay. I, I am also laughing at secret things to myself, but we'll get there later. Oh, ha, ha. Okay. Time to try this again. So those top six, when you hit them, give you a grand total of 50. Yep. Let's um, see, that's a five. That's a nine. So... Okay, that's a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fifty-nine volts. Perfect. All right. Let's head over to that rocket ship. Man, man it's weird that there's like a rocket ship here, cause like, like I, I don't get the impression that. We're that technologically advanced, like... Yeah, because we had... Jungle Land, we had... The Windmill... And, and, like, the games are set in the 1800s, so it's... It... It's not like they'd have space travel, right? Yeah... What you don't see right now is me glaring at Mist 5. For <laughs> reasons. <laughs> So, so, remember when I said we needed the organ? Yeah. That organ diagram? Yeah. Alright, so the way this puzzle works, and it's terrible. Mm -hmm. Um, The journal gave us a diagram with the organ with specific keys highlighted. Mm -hmm. Um, So, like that lower C there. This one? You don't know how to play the piano, do you? Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> crap. <laughs> so, um, if you go left, there's those two black keys sandwiched between three white keys. Mm -hmm. You want the left white key there. Okay. So that would be our first note. Okay. If you go to the right, you see the second set of those. The, the other set of three notes. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Um, you want to hit the same key in that set. Okay. And then... Oh, good lord. Uh, that second black key in that set of three. This one? Mm-hmm. Do do do, and then um, so back with that first set. Uh huh. Um, there's a white key to the right of that set of three. This one. Uh, next that one there. Okay. Then if you go to the left, where that um. Set of three is sandwiched between four. You want the black key all the way to the right. Okay. This is not the worst part of the puzzle. Oh no. So turn around for a sec.
We have a gizmo over here. Mm -hmm. And you may notice a bunch of sliders. Yeah. Well, why don't you pull one of those sliders, why not? Just... Oh good, we gotta tune things. So, you have to match this to those five precise notes in the correct order. Ah, oh, crap. So, um, the, the way that... This is legit my least favorite puzzle in the game. Not... It's not difficult to figure out. It's just difficult to execute. Mm. And, um... If you guys remember, if you guys watched our LP of the cave, and I was talking about puzzle design and how a good puzzle, when you solve it, you go, aha! Whereas a bad puzzle, you get through it and you go, ah, friggin' finally! This is an ah, friggin' finally puzzle. Um, there are ways to sort of cheat it, they're all incredibly painful. Hmm. And um it if you have if you have good pitch or perfect pitch, it's super helpful. But uh basically what you're going to be doing is running back and forth between the keyboard and this. Oh boy. Yeah. So um we we may uh we may be cutting the video for a sec and then be coming back mm -hmm. again least favorite puzzle in the game luckily we only ever have to solve it once yeah um but one of the ways you can cheese it um and this is perhaps the most brute force forces way to do it is, um, go to the keyboard. <laughs> go to the key all the way to the left. One. Go to the black key that's up from it. Two. White key. Three. <laughs> Black key, four, white key, five, black key, six, white key, seven, white key, eight. Okay, so that first nine. <laughs> I am not drunk enough for this. <laughs> so one one of the ways you can brute force this puzzle um is basically counting each friggin' note on this keyboard. Assigning each one a number, mm -hmm. going back to the gizmo, sliding the slider up that many. The interface was a little finicky in the original one, which made it really difficult. I think it's slightly more friendly now, but, um... So... If we go back to, uh... Hang on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, I really hope I have these jotted down correctly. <laughs> 
back to the doodad. Back to the doodad. Okay, um, first one. Mm -hmm. Grab onto it. One. Two, three, four. Basically, count up eight is where you want to go for that one, and I lost track. Okay. One, two, two. Six, seven, eight. There we go. Okay, the next one is 20, assuming I can count. Okay. Oh, I have screwed up slightly. Um. Uh oh. Luckily, it's this note. Go back to the keyboard for a sec. Okay. Uh. So it's note three. Okay. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. <laughs> Twenty-three. Glad I caught that, because otherwise I was going to. I think I did that wrong. Well, if you match it to the one immediately to the left, it'll be at 20. Okay. So it's up. There we go. Three more. Three. Okay. Um, that one will be 13. Okay. And this one will be six. Okay, hopefully we did this right. And this makes no goddamn sense in the lore of the game. So you can see it's showing us, um, an island. It's sort of staticky, but it's there. We're going to Mars! Actually, it's funny you should say this. So the name of this age is the Selenitic Age, which mm -hmm. comes from the name Selene, goddess of the moon. Mm -hmm. And um, when the developers were originally making this game, um, they were going to have you actually take the spaceship and rock it to the other planet. And with Stone Ship, you were going to take the boat to another island. Obviously, they changed that with the... Uh, with the whole thing about the mist books but um mm -hmm. so atris came here long ago and it was a lush green verdant paradise oh hang on a sec okie doke it was a lush green verdant paradise but as soon as he got here like not he only stayed for a couple of days there was a massive earthquake and like he immediately warped back to mist I think there were also, like, asteroids coming down. Look, the, sh the short version of it is, each time he came here, things got messed up. The only place that didn't get really messed up was, like, the place where he was sleeping the first night. But, um, he ended up discovering a series of underground passages that were laden with gold, silver, and other valuable metals. Iron. Oh, hey, another slider thing. Let's check this out. At least it's not musical notes. No, it's just funny noises. So a lot of the puzzles in... Well, I say puzzles, they're not really puzzles. A lot of the things in this age are sound-based. So what we are going to do is we are going to wander around. Okay. There are, speci there are specific things we need to find, but... And this is one of them. So it's like a clock tower, and we have activated it. We we want it activated. Oh, okay. We don't know what that we don't know what that does yet, but clearly that accomplishes something. Mm -hmm. 
It looks like this clock isn't working properly, but then again, it's been a while since Atris has been here. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, looks like a part of it fell off. Yep. Okay, if I remember right, there should be six of these around the island. Got an urn. Oh! So what we have here are a bunch of crystal spires, which make a whistling noise, and there's the red page. Huh. A red page near the spires. Huh. P people who are familiar with the series are going, Yes, Lantern, we get it! <laughs> Quit showing off. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's over here? I think... Is this the tunnel? Yeah, this is the tunnel. We don't necessarily want to go down the tunnel yet. Look, there was something that was alive! Yep, bats. There are bats. So we have this wind tunnel, which we can climb down in a little bit. Wee. There's a light switch. <laughs> we have angered the bats. Oh no, don't tell Dracula. Tear through the vampire killer. Okay, and this takes us up to a core island in the... Well, if we went back... If we went all the way through, it takes us to a uh, core island in the crater. Let's see here. Yeah, this is it. So there's a gizmo, and it's kind of staticky. Yeah. You know, but I recognize some of these symbols. Okay, there's only five of them. Never mind, I thought there were six for some reason. Let's... I recognize some of these, though. Let's click on the uh, wind tunnel one, why not? Okay. I uh, can't really hear anything. What do those green arrows do? Did... So they adjust the frequency, I guess. Let's hold one of them down. We did turn on the wind tunnel one, right? I think we did. Okay, uh, go... Go all the... Let me check just to make sure. I, I mean, we're going to have to find the remaining two anyway, so... Yeah. Because basically the gimmick is, you turn all the things on, and then you find them with the magic satellite doodad. It's rather dark in here. There we go. Yeah, the, the wind one is on, okay, yeah. good. All right, so that left one that looked like a crack with stuff coming out of it. And one that looked like dripping water or something like that. Hmm. Looks like there's one over there. Let's see, I think... Yeah, this is the, the crack thing. Let's look over the side real quick after we activate it. Wow, frame rate dropped on my end. Ooh. We found the cheese fondue, guys. Sweet. And it looks like it's some sort of geothermal thing, because I see pipes coming from it, but... Hmm. I'm sure that's not important. Nah. So that... It leaves one other le thing. And now he just came from there, I think. No, I think you're headed in the right direction. Oh, okay. I hear water. Oh. This is where... This is where Atris originally slept. And, and it's page. dripping water. Blue page next to a haven. A nice safe haven. Lush and green. Once again, people familiar with the series are going, We get it. We <laughs> get it. Shut up. <laughs> in, 
they actually uh, redesigned what the spires look like in this game. In the um, original game, they looked way different. But uh, mm -hmm. now we can go back to that central island and figure out what's going on. Yes. I'm pretty sure this was Courage's favorite age when we were kids. Yeah, that makes sense. But, like, that first puzzle getting here, I hated it so much that it just killed this age for me. Yeah, I could see that. Okay, um, let's click on... Alright, so we need to find where each of these is located. Mm -hmm. And once again, we have a full 360 degrees to go through, so just hold it down until you start hearing noise. Okay. Oop, they hold it! I heard some water there. A little more left, I think. Yeah. I know after a while, like, when you're close, the buttons start giving you hints. Like, they'll start flashing in the direction you need to go. Yeah. So, so it's perfectly reasonable to just hold down the button until you... Yeah, I think it's just the way the static's working at the moment, so... Hold it down and see what happens. Hold it. Was that it? I heard a splash. L like, I remember it getting super clear when you hit it. Yeah, it's just the way the static's going. Keep going left for okay. now. I'm hoping this puzzle didn't bug out. I can see it. You can see something there. Yeah, I don't think that's the right tower, but... Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, a little more left. Or, you might be there, actually. Okay. Oh, no, just go a little further. A little more. A little more. A little more. Okay. okay, so it's at 133. Yes. Okay, next let's uh, find the crack. Okay. We. Whoa! Oh. Hold it. See where it let's see what it tells us. Up. Oh. Yeah. Okay, still going. Still going. Still going. Okay. One fifteen okay. point five. Luckily the numbers themselves don't matter. It's just we have to find them. Oh, okay, okay, so next let's find the clock. Okay. I actually used to have the thing we need. To... Oh. I used to have what this gives you memorized. I don't anymore, but luckily it's not hard to figure out. Okay. A little We're further. Almost. A little further. A little further. A little further. A little further. There we go. Fifty-two. Okay. Point one. Cool, cool. Hmm. 
guess. I'm starting to hear it. Yeah. A little more to the left. Or right. There we go. Okay. And that leaves the wind tunnel. Yes. I got it right off the bat. Okay, so we have all five, and now there's that Sigma button. Let's see what that does. So that's... Spire, water... Uh, can you hit the button one more time? Okay. Let me guess. It, it has to be a pattern to which one we're doing. Um... Water. Wind, Wind tunnel. Crack. Clock. Clock. Okay. So so remember that shack we saw at the beginning? Yeah. Where there were sound effects and there were the sliders? Yeah. Boy, those dunny, which, spoilers, we don't know what those are yet, really do love the, their combination locks. Hmm. So yeah, again, these puzzles aren't particularly hard. I mean, it's easy because you have Mei who knows these puzzles inside and out. True. But uh, e even still, I'm pretty sure you could have figured these out because you're an experienced adventure gamer. Mm. Okay, so the first one we want is the spire noise. That's the wind tunnel. That is not a thing. That is a train. There we go. Okay. Next we want the wind tunnel? dripping water. Oh, dripping water. Okay. Now we want wind tunnel. Okay, that one's happy where it is. Yep. Uh next we the want crack. the vault Yeah, the crack. And, and fuck. Yep. Is that? Yep. Yep. Okay. Wow, this age is gonna be super easy to backtrack through, I bet, because we just had to go through here, and there's the book, and... <laughs> Guess what? What? It restarts? Nope. Well, not exactly. Because there's one last puzzle we have to get through in this age. I say puzzle. What the hell is that? We all live in a yellow submarine. <laughs> Looks like it's on rails, almost. Hmm. Echo, echo, echo. So it's got a butt window there, and like a chair with controls. And a compass. Hmm. Forward, backtrack, left, right, a microphone thing. Hmm. Let's hit forward. It doesn't look like we can go forward. Let's... Oh. Noise sounded familiar, didn't it? Yeah, the ding. Yep. So, 
I'm, I'm gonna take a minute to talk about this puzzle. Okay. So this is a little maze thing, and um, it's one of the least... After the organ thing, it's probably the least popular puzzle in the game, because people are like, Oh, it gives you the sound noises, but you need to have done the mechanical age to figure it out first. And while it's true that the uh, doing mechanical age first makes this process go a little faster, mm. it is perfectly possible to get through this maze and figure out how it works without doing mechanical age um humor me for a sec uh mm -hmm. hit hit left a whole bunch just go full circle can't go that way keep going Okay, so we're back to north. As you can see, the only direction we can go at this point is north, and uh -huh. that noise keeps playing every time we turn. So that that's like, okay, I guess that sound means north. Of course, you don't necessarily know that the sound's important yet, other than the fact that it keeps playing. But um, when, when you get farther along in the maze and like options start opening up a little bit, mm -hmm. um. Like, what'll end up happening is, you get- You can either only go back the way you came, or you get two branching paths. You go one of the branching paths, you don't get a noise! Hey! <laughs> Backtrack, you get the noise again, go the other way. Okay, that must have meant this thing. But, for the sake of making life easier, and I hope they didn't change the directions, <laughs> I actually jotted- I really hope these are right. <laughs> well, even if they are not, I do still have the sounds written down. Yeah. Um, so hang on, let me jot them down more legibly. North, dink, east, unless they change it, swish. Because I remember in um, early versions of the game, they actually swapped some of the sounds for the maze, which is super annoying. Yeah. South was clank. West was Tor. Okay, so we are going to go north. Whee! Oh god, I hate roller coasters. That was the Tor, which is west. Okay. That was the ding, ding, so north again. Yep. Or you could do, you could always do what my sister did and map out the entire damn maze. Hmm. Okay, that was the swish, which is east. Oh, whoops, wrong way. My, my sister did legit map out this entire thing. She loved every minute of it. <laughs> east again? South. That is a south. South again. I 
Yeti better not pop out in the middle of the darkness. <laughs> You've been eaten by a Gru. That's west. Oh, wrong way. Oh no, I, I, I wasn't going right. No, wait, because I'm facing a different direction. Yep. I had to think about it too. <laughs> <laughs> now comes the fun bit. Oh boy. Was it like two sounds? Yes! <laughs> yes, it is! Oh, goody! <laughs> So that was prr and clank mashed together, which translates to southwest. Okay. Just one prr, so that would be west. And, and back in the original version of Myst, on your Windows 3.1 computer with... Dink trrr, that would be Northwest. Okay. This segment had the unfortunate habit of, like, crashing and freezing. Oh, fun. So everybody hated this section. Except my sister. <laughs> Dink swish, that would be northeast. Let's see, is this where the ride starts getting crazy? Nope, okay. That was just north. Dink! Can... Yep, just north. Yep. Okay, that was a swish clank. That would be southeast. Okay. Achievement locked. Never lost. But yeah, that's definitely gonna make backtracking a bit more difficult. Do you want me to let you in on a little secret? Okay. We don't technically need the other page. Oh. Because so, first off, just getting one of the books filled out will give you all the information you need to uh, get to the end. And because of the way that um, button, button next to the door, it didn't work that at one. first. Okay. Because of the way that the game is programmed, there are only two red and blue pages that actually matter. Oh. Be At least I'm pretty sure. I know this was the case with the original game, and I'm pretty sure it's also the case with Real Mist. That said, if you want to give the authentic experience... We're definitely going to want to be backtracking through here. Yeah, but I can always cut that out so the viewers don't have to see that again. Okay. Unless we say some really funny shit while we're doing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I could just start singing, I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. True. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna... Hi there. Hi, you said this I'm before. I'm glad to see that you've returned to help me escape from my wrongful imprisonment. <laughs> it was Cyrus who did this to me. Cyrus, my wicked brother. Do not listen to him. I warn you. I warn you. He's a liar. Do not be persuaded by his evil lies. I release him. He killed my father. He will kill you. <laughs> 
again when my brother Sears began to lust for riches. He stole from the ages of mist. He hoarded riches for himself. My father. My father slept away. His watchfulness. <laughs> my sick brother secretly pronounced himself king. <laughs> king of the ages of mist, he said. He began to look upon me in disgust. His lowly brother. He did him. <laughs> and then Sears began to destroy the ages of mist. <laughs> He burned their forest. <laughs> he tore down their structures. He flooded their lands. He murdered their inhabitants. He completely destroyed all but four of the ages. <laughs> of course, I had a woman father. And I finally found him. There was Cyrus also. Talking cleverly. <laughs> the lying tongue of a serpent. <laughs> he had convinced father that it was I who destroyed the ages. He convinced father that it was I who was greedy for wealth and plunder. <laughs> and as Cyrus dealt the final blow, he took the father into believing that I was the murderer. <laughs> but Cyrus did not deal as fast a blow as he planned. And his father died a slow death. He at last doubted my brother's clever lies. And so in dying, father imprisoned us both. <laughs> I'm sure from which of us the blow had come. <laughs> I swear to you, what I say is true. Release me. <laughs> you must release me. My brother is a deceitful liar. and deserves a punishment. I only wish vengeance for my dear father. He's murdered. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> you must only recover one additional page to release me from this prison. It's the easiest to find. Go to the bookshelf. It's in this library. On the far right side. Of the middle shelf, there's a burned book, which is different from the other burnt books. This book is filled with patterns. Fine pattern 158. Mimic its design on the panel in the fireplace. Doing this will bring you the last blue page. Remember, don't take the red page. Only the blue page. Return quickly to me. And do not touch the green book. Of a trap to imprison those who have not been warned. <laughs> Do not be tempted, for you will rot and die, imprisoned as I am. <laughs> I tell you, if you follow my instructions, it will be well worth your while. I promise you that. Go. Go. Hmm. So, Puzzle 158 in the fireplace, but uh, we'll get back to that, because I'm not sure how much I trust him. Yeah, he's still kind of suspicious. And he does actually have a different message if you go back to the book, but it's basically... It basically amounts to... What the hell are you doing? Go to 158. Go... Use that pattern in fireplace. Don't touch green book. <laughs> Why do you keep turning off my flashlight, game? We need that. <laughs> Let me see if I can... I'm looking up a thing to make myself... To make life easier for myself later. Okay. Da, da, da. Give me the picture. Don't mind me. So do you want me to body you instead? <laughs> okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, your phone has a camera in it, and yeah. it's a much better camera than mine is. <laughs> Why am I making this harder for myself? <laughs> <laughs> How did the 
how did the gizmo get back up here anyway? There must be like some sort of automatic thing connected to the mist book. Like when the mist book hits back in its podium, activate automatic reverse mode or something. It was Bob the skeleton. It was Bob the skeleton. He's just playing dead. Two thousand years later. West. Adam West. TV's Adam West! <laughs> what are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> oh. Yeah. Six and a half hours later. Okay, uh. East. Okay, but what about Weast? Patrick, you're fired again! <laughs> a few inches later. South. And then we get further into the maze. It's a small world after all. Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later. South again. We find a minotaur. Yeah, and we don't have a red cape. Oh no! Or a, or a lava pit. <laughs> we have a red page. True, it uh, works. Two hours later. Wheels! So, interesting thing about these tunnels, you may wonder, like... Southwest? Uh, you may wonder why, like, Atris went through the trouble of, uh... Digging all these out, and... Again, he had, like, that four chamber under the island. The the people he descends from are actually subterranean in nature. So you're saying he's actually a dwarf? He actually is a dwarf. Huh. Uh... West, I believe? But because, because Atrus is only, uh, half of... No, wait, let's see here, um... A quarter... Uh, Dunny, as I recall. Let's see here. Yeah, Gen was half. Grandpa ate. Um. Northwest. Day two. Like, originally all these characters were human, but once the book series came out, and once, uh, Riven came out, uh, north, yep. uh, they started better characterizing these characters, the culture they come from. Heck, that that's really how you find out that these are set in the 1800s and that your character is from what was Mexico at the time. Huh. They fall. Like, like, Mist is a series with boatloads of lore, and you get absolutely none of it in the first game. <laughs> you get some in Riven. Um, Mist 3? is entirely obtuse unless you read one of the books. Which is great! Thanks for that, guys! You're welcome! Um... Mist 4 you can mostly understand without the background lore. Mist 5, we don't talk about Mist 5. <laughs> there is no war Mist in Bossing Say. There is no war in Bossing Say. <laughs> Mist 5 makes me so angry. So very, very angry. I mean, I do know you have a specific rant for another thing. That rant is in Mist 4. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's see what Sears has to say. Yes, is he going to be about the same with his brother? Being like, oh, he did it? I owe you a debt of gratitude, for you have nearly released me. My name is Sirius. I trust that from your explorations you have become convinced that my wicked brother, Akhenar, is guilty, and I am innocent. It is I who am wrongly imprisoned here, imprisoned by my father. I don't know who you are, or how you came to this island. But I assume you must at least know something of the books. 
His father was a master of the books. He wrote hundreds of them, all describing and linking to the fantastic places and ages which he had discovered. The room in which you now stand was our father's library. It was here in this room, on this island named Mist, that he housed most of these books. But such a waste. By now, you have surely discovered that Akhenor has burnt you to the most of these books. Why? Our father was always watchful of our exploration. We grew up under his strict supervision. But when we came of age, he gave us unbridled access to the mist books. He began to leave our adventures more and more unchecked. Unsupervised as we were, my brother began to become disturbed. He began to take more from the mist ages than he had given. Soon he gained a twisted pleasure from the conquest and destruction of the other ages. It was horrific. This thirst for destruction. But alas, even I discovered his insanity too late. He had completely destroyed all of the missed ages but four. I wasted no time. In warning my father, I thought he would recognize Akhenor's guilt. But in a fit of rage, he imprisoned both my brother and myself within the pages of these books, designed to hold us until he could judge which of us was guilty. To discover the truth, our father embarked on one final journey. However, he has never returned. I can only assume that he perished along the way, leaving me an innocent victim and trapped forever. But now, you are here to release me. Listen carefully. You must find one more page and I will be forever free. There is a book on the shelves. This library, which is mostly burned, but has a few pages still intact. It is the last book on the middle shelf. Find it. This book is filled with a variety of patterns. Find pattern 158 and recreate it on the door of the fireplace. This will bring you to the last red page. Bring that page to me and I will finally be released and able to reward you, of course. Ignore the blue page. That page finishes my brother's book. It chills me to even think what would happen if you were to release him. There is another warning. Where the red and blue pages reside, also resides a green book. If you touch the green book, you also will be imprisoned forever. Our father gave us this same warning long ago. I suggest you follow us. Fox. Go now. Soon to be hmm. All right. There, there is a distinct difference between the brothers' two stories here. Yeah, like Agnar said that his father was murdered. Cirrus said that he wasn't. Yeah. But yeah, so the pattern we need is one fifty-eight in the middle bookshelf. Uh, oh, wasn't this one. Yeah, it was the book far right middle shelf. Nope, not you. Nope, not you. Eh. All the way to the right. Nope. nope. Not, not you. There it is. There we go. So we want 158, and I think if you hold down the button, it starts skipping by like 10. Mm, no. Okay, screw it. Yep. So 158 we need. Yep. There it is. Alright. Do, do you have a picture of that? I'm working on it right now. Okay. Got it. Okay. 
so now we can go to the fireplace. Turn, turn, turning. Let's see what happens when we put that pattern in. Yes. Ooh. A secret room with a green book in the last two pages. Yes. But, but what do we do? Yeah, because I, I, I don't know if I trust either of them. I can't decide. Maybe we should find out in the next episode. Dun dun dun!